We have already seen how to set up cinema screens within the DMS2000, and enlist them under the monitoring tab. In this tutorial, we will explain the various options available under the monitoring tab, which can be used to monitor and control the cinema screens configured in the DMS. Please take note of the time markers provided on screen. They will help you quickly scan and navigate to a specific section within this tutorial video. Click on the monitoring tab, to view all the managed cinema screens. In order to control a particular screen and its connected devices from the monitoring tab, make sure that the corresponding media server has been set up on the DMS, and all devices have been mapped to the screen. Even after setting up a cinema screen, you will observe that the monitor icon shown against it, is blank, and the server status for the screen shows offline. This is because the media server for the screen, is currently not connected to the DMS. In order to establish a connection between the server and the DMS, right click on the monitor icon, and select the connect to screen option. Alternatively, you can simply left click on the monitor icon, to connect the screen to the DMS. The auto connection option under the preferences menu, allows you to connect the selected servers to the DMS automatically, instead of manually connecting them each time the DMS software is launched. In order to disconnect any screen from the DMS, right click on the monitor icon, and select the disconnect from screen option. Notice that the monitor icon is now lit up, which means that the DMS is able to interface with the server. The green light next to the monitor icon, indicates that the server is powered up, and is able to establish a network connection with the DMS. In case a red light is shown, it means that the server cannot establish a network connection with the DMS. This could be because the server is not powered on, or there is an issue with the network connection or the IP configuration of the server. Once a cinema screen is connected to the DMS, the server's current playback status will be displayed here. Apart from playing, paused, stopped, and offline, an error status can also be shown, in case the server is in an error state. You can place the mouse cursor over the server status, in order to view the relevant error message. The server interface for any cinema screen, can be accessed by right clicking on the monitor icon, and selecting the view GUI option. The selected server interface will be displayed either in a web browser, or a VNC viewer, depending on the type of server. Please note, that in case of GDC servers, both the VNC based UI for the older models, as well as the web based UI for the SR series, can be accessed using the view GUI option. In order to access the web UI, please ensure that either Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox, is set as the default browser for the Windows-based computer, in which the DMS software is installed. When a cinema screen is connected to the DMS, details regarding the show playlist loaded on the server, and the content currently being played, are displayed here. This section will indicate the name of the currently loaded SPL, the elapsed and remaining time during playback, the current clip title, playback progress bar for the current clip, the current clip number, along with the total number of clips in the loaded SPL, and the playback server time. If you have scheduled multiple shows, then the name of the next SPL and its start time, will also be shown here. Along with displaying playback related information, the DMS also provides controls, which allow you to manage playback, execute automation queues, and load show playlists on the server. Furthermore, you can also control the functions of the sound processor and the projector, if they are mapped to the server within the DMS. The control buttons for any of the screens connected to the DMS, will be locked and grayed out by default. You cannot click on them, unless they are unlocked. 
In order to unlock them, click on the lock icon. The control buttons will now be unlocked, and shown in blue color, indicating that they have been enabled. Please note, that the control buttons will remain unlocked and accessible for 10 seconds, after clicking the lock icon. The playback control buttons, allow you to perform functions like play, pause, stop, rewind, fast forward, and move to next, or previous clip. Please note, that the rewind, fast forward, move to previous, and move to next clip buttons, will remain disabled when playback is in progress, and will be enabled only when playback is paused or stopped. The Execute Automation Labels button, allows you to load the automation queues, and the automation device list from the server. Click on this button, to open the automation management window. The automation queue list tab, will enlist all the automation queues, which have been configured on the server. To execute a particular automation queue, select it from the list, and click on the execute button. The automation device list tab, will enlist all the supported automation devices, which have been linked to this screen. The label and action drop down menus, will display the automation labels and corresponding actions for each of the listed devices. To execute a queue for a particular automation device, select the appropriate label and action, and click on the execute button alongside it. A power management device such as the PMA2000, can be used to control the power supply to various devices within the auditorium. If a PMA device has been mapped to a particular screen within the TMS, you can control the power supply to the connected devices, from the automation management window. The PMA1000 controls tab, provides a visual representation of all the power supply channels, which have been set up on the PMA device. The power supply status for each of the channels, is represented by a toggle button. When the button is green, it indicates that the circuit for the corresponding channel is closed. When the button is red, it indicates that the circuit for the corresponding channel is open. You can also change the status for a particular channel manually, by clicking on the corresponding button. To do so, you need to click on the unlocker icon first. Once unlocked, you can click on a particular button, to either connect or disconnect the power supply for that channel. The timeline shown here, represents the cinema operating time, defined in the general settings under the preferences menu. The blue bar represents the screening period, whereas the yellow bar represents the non-screening period for the cinema. Please note, that if the current time is within the screening period, the TMS will not allow manual disconnection requests for any of the channels. The Load SPL button, allows you to load or unload a show playlist from the server. Click on this button, to open the SPL list window. All the SPLs which are available on the server, will be enlisted on the left side of this window. When a particular show is selected, the SPL details, along with its contents, will be displayed on the right. To load an SPL for playback, select it from the list, and click on the load SPL button. You can also unload an SPL which is currently loaded for playback, by clicking on the unload SPL button. The volume and channel control button, allows you to control certain functions of the sound processor, if it's been mapped to the screen within the TMS. By clicking this button, you can choose to adjust the volume, mute or unmute sound, as well as select the correct channel for sound output. Furthermore, 
audio related information for the screen, will be displayed under the audio section as shown. The projector control button, allows you to control certain functions of the projector, if it's been mapped to the screen within the DMS. Here, you can click on this toggle button, to either power on, or power off the projector light source. Additionally, you can click on this toggle button, to either open, or close the projector's dowser. You can also use this drop-down menu, to select and load a pre-configured macro on the projector. This button will be active, only if you are using an Espedio Super 5000, Barco SP4K series, Christie, NEC, or Sony projector. It can be used to switch the projector, from standby mode to power mode, and vice versa. Notice that the icons for all three toggle buttons change, based on their current state. In case the selected screen has a dual projector setup, you can use the projector selection button, to choose and access these functions for both projectors. The projector status, along with information such as the lamp hours, and the selected macro name, will be displayed under the projector section as shown. You can also place the mouse cursor over the projector icon, to view the projector related information. The server section, displays server related information for the cinema screen, such as the serial number, the software and OS version, and the disk space available in the server's local storage. You can also place the mouse cursor over the data usage information bar, to view additional storage related details for the server. By default, all cinema screens listed under the monitoring tab, will be displayed in a single column. You can also choose to display the screens, in a double column manner. To do so, go to the view menu, and select the double column option under monitor. The screen listing under the monitoring tab, will change as shown. Notice that the projector, audio, and server information, are not being displayed for the listed screens. You can set your preferences, for information that should be shown or hidden in the double column mode, under general settings within the preferences menu. The status bar at the bottom of the monitoring tab, displays the playback status for each of the listed screens. The disk space available in the DMS Theater Store, is also displayed here. Additionally, the quick access icons for the notification viewer, content verifier viewer, import display viewer, and transfer display viewer, are shown here. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.